Catholic Church. He said that with your sincerity. Well, I said, I am a Catholic. Yes. Well, I said, now, according to the teaching of the Catholic Church, that Jesus Christ established the Catholic Church. And the apostles were his first priest, and Peter was the first pope. That's according to the teaching of the Catholic Church. And that this Bible was written of the early Catholic Church. Well, and then the Catholic Church has power to change anything they wish to because they are the church. And I said, since the early days, that you all have changed it. You have substituted uh, sprinkling or pouring for immersing. You have substituted Holy Communion instead of the Holy Ghost. And uh, I said, I'm just one of the old-fashioned Catholic that stay with the original belief. That stay. <laughs> I said, the strange thing is that Peter, uh, being the first pope, said there is no other mediator between God and man but that man, Jesus Christ. And today you all have Mary and St. Cecilia and hundreds of women that's died and so forth to be intercessors. There's something happened between the first pope and this pope. If it doesn't change your altar, I said, then again... What do you do with St. Paul, which was the great saint of the early Catholic Church that said, if an angel from heaven preaches any other gospel, and this has already been preached, let him be accursed. Amen. Amen. And I said, what about Jesus Christ who established the Catholic Church? said, if any man shall take any word out of this Bible or add anything to it, the same will be taken out of his part of the book of life. Therefore, all things that we do, to my opinion, as a Bible believer, must be based upon the Scriptures. All revelations, all visions, everything must be solemnly based upon the Scripture. For that's the foundation that we rest on, as thus saith the Lord. In the Scriptures, we do not find where the ever sprinkled or poured or consecrated little children in that manner. But in the scripture we find that they brought infants unto Jesus that he might bless them. And he took them up in his arms and said, Suffer little children to come unto me and forbid them not, for such is the kingdom of heaven. And he blessed the little children. And that's all the scripture that's written concerning it. That's the way we try to continue. Now, if the... Like in the Methodist Church and the Nazarene Church and many other churches who has the... I don't think the Nazarene Church does. The Methodist Church does. And many of the others are the evangelical thinkers that does christen little children by sprinkling them. Now, that's all right. Any form that you want to dedicate them to, but just so that you see that we don't put water on them. We just lay hands on them, trying to follow the example of our Lord. And... uh, that's the way we want the mothers to understand that while we don't sprinkle water on them because we don't have any scripture for that. We don't have scripture for sprinkling water on adults, our children. So the child is too young to be baptized. And baptism is a, the outward expression that an inward work of grace has been done and the child cannot express it because there hasn't been any inward work of grace, you see, because it's just a baby. It's the parents bringing the baby to God who gave them the child, giving it back to him in dedication. So that's how we use that here. Now they're going to bring some little fellows for dedication. I'm going to ask the sister if she'll give us just a little card on the piano. Bring them in. I believe Sister Gertie or whoever the young lady is here. And um, so while just before we do that, let's have a word of prayer for the mothers and the people that's bringing their loved ones. Oh Lord, we are indeed a privileged people to live in a country where we still have a freedom of worship. That where we have a a government that protects us and gives us this God-given heritage. 
that we do not have to go according to a state church or some dictator type, but we can come to Thee in the way that we are convinced in our heart. We pray that this will last long until Jesus comes, if it so be in Thy provided way. And now many of the people are bringing their little children day after day and week after week as you give them into the arms and care of their father and mother. They bring them, Lord, to us as elders here at the church. And we by prayer offer them to Thee. I pray, God, that You'll take each of these little darlings this morning and will consecrate their lives to Thee. Bless the homes that they come from. May their father and mother be so dedicated to You that the children will be raised up in Christian homes to serve You all the days of their life. Cleanse us this morning, Lord, as they bring these little innocent lambs, the very blossom of their heart, but they are wanting them to have eternal life. And they're asking you, O oh God, to protect them and to keep them and guide them until they're old enough that we can talk to them. And persuade them to accept the Lord Jesus and receive eternal life. We do this for God's glory according to His Word. In the name of His Son, the Lord Jesus. Amen. Now while the mothers bring, or the fathers bring their little ones up here for dedication, the sister will play. Just bring the little fellows to stand right along the altar here. By these little ones, it's already been dedicated. <laughs> All right. Immediately following this service will be the baptismal service. And while they're bringing them, I might announce, be sure to get your loved ones here now. This afternoon by 6, between 6 and 6.30, they'll be giving out the prayer cards and the services will be starting, I guess, at 7? At 7.30. At 7.30. All right, sir. Just come right up close with the little ones, if you will. <clears throat> you see mothers getting their camera out here you know how mothers think about little ones <laughs> how many loves little children oh my I used to hear these little ones saying Jesus loves the little children of the world are you sister Grimsley your grandbaby I don't know where the media has entered the church yet or not. We read in a paper some time ago and she called me and told me that a sister Grimsley had died here in the city. And we were surprised. And then when I come home and went to church that Sunday, here you were sitting at the church. And I said, well, she's the most lively dead woman I have ever seen. <laughs> so it must have been a, another sister, Mrs. Grimsley. <laughs> yes, sir. Um... Now I want to ask Brother Neville and some of the elders if they'll come forward at this time and stand here in dedication. If um, some of you minister brothers there, or the elders, come right ahead, Brother. And brother. Now each of you mothers and fathers and grandparents are offering to God these little precious jewels that God has given to you for dedication dedicating them to the God that gave them to you. May His grace and mercy ever be with you, is my prayer. Is Brother Collins near, or Brother... Or let him come forward, if he will, here for this service. If he's one of our associate pastors here at the church, and we'd like to have him here with prayer of with us if possible. Now, 
Now, you know, sometimes these little fellows, they never practice this, so they're just original. <laughs> and sometimes they squeal and cry, but that just makes them good babies, doesn't it? <laughs> so we don't notice that. So if they're crying or anything, remember, that doesn't bother at all. I'd imagine some of the little ones that was brought up to the Lord Jesus kind of cried a little bit too, you know, because uh, it's always that way. The little fellows, they're disturbed when they're moved around and some's been sitting here in the hot room. So we don't notice that. All right, we will come forward. What's his name? Teen Renee Bennett. Teen Renee Bennett. Little Teen Renee Bennett. The grandmother brings it for dedication. Certainly a darling little baby. Let us pray. Lord, they bring to your servant's hands this little darling baby who we pray over dedicating to you. God bless this little child and may it live and worship you. Bless its parents its grandparents and Lord if there is a tomorrow may it be a great servant of yours Amen. grant it Lord as we present it to you in Jesus name receive it Amen the Lord bless you little Cynthia Lee Canard another darling little chunk <laughs> My, she's quite a little bigger. <laughs> she said, darling, Amen. let us pray. Lord, we bring to you this little infant. And as it's been placed from the loved one's arms to mine, Amen. in a holy dedication and consecration to God, Amen. the little one is too young to know. But the loved ones has brought it. Amen. Let it live, Lord, and be strong and healthy all its life. Bless its parents, its grandparents, Amen. and all of its loved ones. May in glory they all be assembled together that day when we meet you. Keep it healthy and happy. We give it to you in dedication with prayer in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. What's this thing, Carl? Carl Christian Stahl. Little Carl Christian Stahl. It's the grandson of our brother, McDad. So he's a fine-looking boy. Amen. I uh, pray that if there is tomorrow, he'll be a preacher of the gospel. Amen. Let us bow our head. Lord, as this grandfather has put into my arms this little lump of love, Amen. I pray thee, Lord God, that you will take this little infant into your care. Yes, Jesus. And let it live and grow and be strong and healthy. Jesus. May if there comes a tomorrow, may it preach the gospel that we who are dedicated Amen. this morning believe in. May its little life be richly blessed. Bless its parents, its grandparents, and its great-grandparents. Hey. We pray that your blessings rest upon it. For we now, by prayer of consecration, dedicate this baby to you, O Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, your Son. Amen. Our mighty sweet girl, Taiji the mother, congratulations to you for the What's this little man? Cheryl Ann's Cheryl Ann Baldwin. You the mother? Oh, that's fine. Cheryl, you're a fine little girl. Little Shirley Ann Baldwin. Now, she's different than little shy, I can tell that. I suppose her mother was, too. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, I get this. I'm going to get along like this. Oh, she's a little fine little girl, I believe. She's a dark. Let us pray. Lord, we bring to you this little child little finger in its mouth. Hey. Oh, God, that doesn't even know what the thought of sin is. Hey. I pray, God, that you would bless her hey. life and make it rich and royal. Oh, hallelujah. 
Bless its young mother here, its father, its grandparents, and all its loved ones. And as we give it to you in solemn dedication of prayer, may you let her live and grow and be strong and healthy and be an example in her days of young womanhood to serve the Lord. Amen. Grant it, Lord. I believe it's such little ones as you laid your hands on and blessed. We ask this for the glory of God as we dedicate her and consecrate her in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. I think you're sweet little girl, bashful but sweet. God bless you. Congratulations for a fine baby. Now, maybe a long time ago I could pick that one little girl. <laughs> What's your name? Uh, relation to the other one? I want you all to see this little girl because she's a very sweet little thing and we'll have to lift her up in a little bit. A very pretty little girl. Amen. I'm thinking it was little things like this that Jesus laid his hands on. Amen. How unworthy our hands are. Praise God. But if you look for worthy hands, you wouldn't find them. Amen. We're unworthy, but we claim his promise through grace. Thank you, Jesus. His name again. Shirley Diane Bale. Shirley Diane Bale. Let us pray. Lord, we bring this little child to you. Sweet. Pray, I pray, God, that you will bless her little life. Yes, amen. May she live to be a strong woman, full of grace and power. Amen. May she have a place in the great redemption story to do something for the kingdom of God. Bless her young mother, the father, the grandparents, and all of her loved ones. And if you live for her till her day is, may she be a worker for you. Now we give her to you in the way of dedication or consecration by the way of prayer in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Bless you, sweetheart. A pretty little bit of the fine. He will be administered to. And what's his name? John Michael Dalton. Now you know I've got a little cowboy back there just about your size. Little John Michael. Well, that's fine. His father here is a minister, I believe. That's right. When you're a Baptist minister? Uh, Lady member. Lady of the Baptist Church. That's right. Let us pray. Lord, we bring you this Jesus. little lad. I don't know what I'm holding in my arms. Praise. Neither did the mother know when he was born and his little hand stroked her face. Hallelujah. Or the dad who swelled his chest and oh, he had a son. God, I pray that this child will be to the honor and glory of Jesus Christ. Amen. We bring him to you now in dedication (coughs) by prayer for consecration that you will use his little life for your glory. For we dedicate him to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Bless you. A fine. This little fella? Sarah and Doc. Was this such a dog? Robert and Sarah. Robert and Sarah. Such a dog. Oh, I'm going to ask you. You can such a dog. I know your husband real well, but I guess I've seen him. This is Robert Lee. Robert Anthony. Robert Anthony. Oh, right. Oh, hey. My, Southern Grits didn't do that. He's <laughs> a fine boy. Nice looking little fellow. Let us pray. Lord, we bring to you this little boy. Amen, Jesus. Thank you. For, for dedication that the mother has brought him and the father. Amen. And we pray that you'll consecrate his little life, Lord, to your service. Amen. May he live and be a great man, strong, physically, spiritually, grand at Lord. And now we dedicate him to you in the name of Jesus Christ, God's Son. Amen. 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 Congratulations to you for two fine boys. I hope they both are preaching. Yes, the Lord has. <coughs> Here's another boy. 
You can tell he's a good boy away park his hand. What is he? Robert Samuel Bates. I don't know, he's quite low. My. Robert Samuel Bates. Fine boy. Let us pray. Dear God, we bring to you this little boy. Amen. And seeing he's nearing teenage. Oh, the snares the devil has set for the little fella. Amen. Help us, Lord. Bypass them, Lord. May the little lad never walk in the way of unrighteousness. My God. Yeah. But may the prayer of dedication this morning and the faith of the parents with us cause the little lad to be stirred towards Calvary. Yes. Reign, O oh Lord, and he'll live and grow and be a strong, fine man. It be your will that he preach the gospel tomorrow, if there be a tomorrow. Amen. We now dedicate him to you in the name of Jesus Christ, your Son. Amen. Amen. God bless you. That's brother and sister. Oh, that's funny. How do you do? Now, oh, here's a fine boy, too. What's his name? Dwight Simmons. 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 Dwight Simmons. There was a great preacher one time named Dwight. Huh? A great preacher. Who knows what his name was? Dwight Moody. Not educated. A little shoe cobbler. But sent a million souls to Jesus. Amen. May little Dwight do the same. Oh, he's a fine boy. Fine looking little fellow. Look like a preacher. Amen. Let us bow. Lord, we bring to you this little boy placed yes, from the Jesus. loved one's arms to ours. Amen. And belief and faith in the Bible, in the Christ Amen. of the Bible, we dedicate this little boy to you that his life will be used to the glory of God. Bless his home, his parents, his loved ones. And may he live and be strong. And if it be your will, make a minister out of him for tomorrow. Hey. If that tomorrow is to be. But in our prayers and sincerity with consecrated prayers for him, we offer him to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hey. You're fine, boy. Thank you, brother. Oh, I don't know. There's something about those little guys that just makes you feel real good. You know, we, I've got a little girlfriend here. She's bashful. She's sunk right down then. I call her Cookie. <laughs> She's from down in Georgia where I go down to have a vacation with her daddy recently to go fishing. And the reason I call her Cookie, after her mother having about two or three full T-bone steaks fried for me when I come home, not eating until I just couldn't eat no more, that fine southern cooking, she come with a handful of cookies. I had to eat them too. So I called her Cookie. She's a fine girl. <laughs> All these little ones. You all love the Lord? My, that's fine. Once in a while I preach just to little children, you know. How many of you sure not told the story about little Moses? You know what? Little ship, you know, that this little baby was hitting. You remember that? And all of you come up around the altar and, and dedicate your life to the Lord Jesus. Now today... We are celebrating His resurrection. You still love Him? All you love Him, raise up your hands, you little boys and girls. Here. Oh, how nice. That's fine. Amen. 100%. And I believe that too with all my heart, that they love Him. Now, we are coming just now for the baptismal service. We never know just how many is to be baptized. It's part of the gospel. The resurrection message was, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. Amen. And he that believeth not shall be damned. And these signs shall follow them that believe. As it was read this morning to us out of Mark 16. Now we are going to read some scriptures for the, the water baptism. Now there's many people and churches 
who sprinkle water on the people. Many of the churches believe in that. And that's the way, why, that's all right. Many pour water on the people. Just pour, get the water up and pour it on their head. Well, that's, that's all right, see. It's a dedication. It's, a, it's a, an expression of, a, of an outward uh, expression that an inward work of grace has been done. So, I have nothing to say against that. But uh, in the Scriptures, they were baptized by immersing down under the water. So, therefore, being that I'm an old-fashioned Catholic, I had better go just the way the old-fashioned church did it, you know. By being immersed, covered over, Jesus was completely sealed away. He was put down into the ground and a big stone was rolled over the grave. Buried, He carried our sins far away. Therefore, we believing that what others do, that's all right. We do not have no controversies with them. But for ourselves, we believe in being immersed. And now we do this immersing according to the early apostolic teachings of the church. Some of those who immersed yet today got away from the this beginning uh, ritual of the apostolic belief. In the beginning, the first baptism that was ever baptized after Pentecost was to be baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And every baptism afterwards was ever one baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And some of the people, we'll read in a moment, that were baptized by mercy, by John the Baptist, just unto repentance, not for remission of sins. And they had to come and be rebaptized over again in the name of Jesus Christ in order to receive the Holy Ghost. Now today we have substituted Acts or Matthew twenty eight nineteen. For Jesus Christ commanded His church, Go ye therefore to all nations, teaching them to observe whatever things I have taught you, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Peter, ten days later, commanded them to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. And nobody, nobody in the Bible was ever baptized in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. It's not in the Scriptures. No one was ever baptized. And then someone would say, Now see, it was ordained as a Catholic church, the faith of our fa- facts of our faith in the Catholic book. The facts of Catholic faith says that the Protestants do recognize our baptism. The Catholic diocese in the, about, the sixth, about the 14th century baptized a man by sprinkling him in the name of Father, Son, Holy Ghost. But it's not a scripture for it. The church, Wesley, come out, and Luther, with the same thing from the Catholic Church. Some of them still carry the Catholic Catechism. Some still carry the Apostles' Creed, and so forth, which come out of the Catholic Church. Which, if God makes a Christian out of a man like that, I have nothing to say against it. You understand, see? But to me, I must be an old-fashioned Catholic. I must stay with what the early church did. And I must baptize according to the way the early church baptized. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And now, we try to keep that. Now, that I might say this in Matthew twenty-eight nineteen. Jesus said, Go ye therefore, teach all nations, baptize them into the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Well now, 
one of them, he never said in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Ghost. He said in the name Sangler. Great scholars like Schofield and those. In the original Greek, all. And in the all translations, it's in the name. Not names. Or in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son. It's in the name of Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Well, Father is not a name. Neither is Son a name. And neither is Holy Ghost a name. It's titles that goes to one name. See? There's one name. Then if the revelation that we are trying to bring to you surely must have been the same revelation that the apostles had when they stood by and listened to him give that commission. Someone said, well, I don't care what the apostles done. Jesus said this. If the apostles disobeyed him, then the scriptures are wrong. You have to make the scriptures perfect or they're not nothing. It's every word right or it's none of it right. I don't know which would be right if it all isn't right. If part of it isn't inspired, then the rest of it might not be. But there's not a contradiction in the Scriptures. So if Peter said, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, and all after that was baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, and Jesus said, Go baptize in the name of Father, Son, Holy Ghost, that's a blank contradiction, looks like. But it isn't. If you'll just know, remember, the Scriptures are hid from the eyes of the wise and students. Did you know that? And to be revealed, the Scriptures doesn't contradict itself. It only declares itself. Now, if you'll turn back, if you was reading a story like you said, John and Mary lived happy ever after. As some of you, we're all guilty of reading stories. And if you didn't know who John and Mary was, The only thing you can do is turn back to the first of the book and read through and find out who John and Mary was. If Jesus commanded them to be baptized in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Ghost, and Father's not a name and Son's not a name and Holy Ghost is not a name, we better go back and find out who Father, Son, and Holy Ghost is and what its name is. So if you would turn with me to the first chapter of Matthew, like you would of any book, it said, Now begin the genealogies. It said, Now the birth of Jesus Christ was on this wise. When his mother Mary was espoused to Joseph, engaged otherwise. Now I want to show you how... Look, we're going to say this is the Son, Jesus. This is the Father. This is the Holy Ghost. Now anybody knows, and Jesus said that God was his Father. You believe that? Amen. We have to. The Father of Jesus Christ was God. I'm quoting scripture, Matthew 1, 18. The birth of Jesus Christ was on this wise. When his mother, Mary, was espoused to Joseph, before she, they came together, she was found with a child of the Holy Ghost. Then which one of these is his father? And she shall bring forth a child, and they shall call his name Jesus. Notice, she was, and when Joseph, her husband, being a just man, not willingly to make her a public example, was minded to put her away privately on this wise. But when he thought on these things, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, and saying, Joseph, thou son of David, fear not to take unto thee thy wife, marry thy wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost. Well, how could God be His Father if the Holy Ghost is His Father? He'd have two fathers. And what kind of a child would He be? There's no two. The Holy Ghost and God is the same thing. See? And she shall bring forth a son, and they shall call His name Jesus. All this was done that it might be fulfilled which spoke to the Lord by the prophet saying, A virgin shall conceive and bear a child, and he shall be called Emmanuel, which is what? God with us. Now here's the son. On the day of his baptizing in Jordan, John bare record seeing the Spirit of God like a dove coming and dwelling on him. 
Jesus said, It's not me that doeth the works, it's my Father that dwelleth in me. Now, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost has one name, then three titles, and what did the Bible say that name was? Jesus. So that must have been the revelation that the apostles had, for that's the way they baptized. Father, Son, and Holy Ghost is not a name. None of them are names. The name of the Father, Son, Holy Ghost is the Lord Jesus Christ. That's the name of the Father, Son, Holy Ghost. Now, I shall read some scriptures just before we baptize. I want to read first on the first occasion for the water baptism. And that's found in Acts, the second chapter, Peter at the day of Pentecost. He'd been preaching. And when they heard this, they were pricked in their heart and said to Peter and the rest of the apostles, Man and brethren, what shall we do? Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost for the promises to you and to your children, to them as far off, even as many as the Lord our God shall call. Then the next time we have baptism recorded is when Philip, two days afterwards, went down to Samaria. Zam was Jews. And then when there's only three tribes of people in the earth, that's Ham, Sham, and Japheth's people. Jews, Gentiles, and half Jew and Gentile Samaritans. When Philip went out and preached to the Samaritans, here's what had taken place. There's one Simon the sorcerer was bewitching people by sorcery. But when they believed Philip preaching the things pertaining to the kingdom of God, in the name of Jesus Christ they were baptized, both men and women. The next time baptism is spoke of is found in Acts 10, 44 to 48 at the house of Cornelius the Gentile. There's the Jews at Jerusalem, Philip at Samaria, and here's Peter with the Gentiles. And while Peter yet spake these words, the Holy Ghost fell on them which heard the word. And they of the circumcision, Jew which believed were astonished as many as came with Peter because on the Gentiles was also poured out the gift of the Holy Ghost. For they heard them speak with tongues and magnify God. Then answered Peter, Can a man forbid water that these should not be baptized? And he commanded them, who has received the Holy Ghost as well as we, and he commanded them to be baptized in the name of the Lord. See, prayed for them. The next time baptism is spoke of is in Acts 19 where they come up on the disciples of John. This is Paul. Now listen close. Acts 19. And it came to pass while Apollos was at Corinth, Paul having passed through the upper coast of Ephesus, he finds certain disciples. And he said unto them, now watch, they were disciples, they were believers, Christians, he said unto them, Have you received the Holy Ghost since you believed? And they said unto him, We have not so much as heard where there be any Holy Ghost. Listen to what he asked. Listen to this essential question that this apostle asked. See? And he said unto them, Unto what then were you baptized? And they said unto him, Under John's baptism. Now I'd imagine this morning... If either any of us had been baptized by the same man that baptized Jesus Christ, we'd think our baptism is pretty well secured. Wouldn't you think so? But yours, Paul says it isn't. In the same holy water, by the same man that baptized our Lord, Paul condemns that baptism now. Because it wasn't in the name of Jesus Christ. Now listen. And he said, unto, unto what then were you baptized? Now, if you want to look that up in the Greek, he said, How was you baptized? See? And they said unto him, Unto John's baptism. Then said Paul, John verily baptized on the baptism of repentance, saying unto the people that they should believe on him that's come, that is on Jesus Christ. Notice, this same group had been baptized in the Jordan with Jesus Christ. When they heard this, they were rebaptized. They were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. 
Paul laying his hands upon them, the Holy Ghost came on them, and they spake with tongues and prophesied. Now, the same Paul says here in the book of Galatians, this is why I hang to it, Galatians, the first chapter, and the eighth verse. Listen. I'm going to begin at the, at the sixth verse. Speaking to the Galatians, I marvel that you be so soon removed from him that called you unto grace of Christ unto another gospel, which is not another, but there be some that trouble you and prevent the gospel of Christ. But though we are an angel from heaven, that would be priest, pope, preacher, whatever it might be, though we are an angel from heaven, preach any other gospel unto you, then that which we have preached unto you, let him be accursed. And as and we said before, so now I say again, if any man preach any other gospel unto you than that which you have received, let him be accursed. If we shall take one word away from the Bible, Revelation is 21, or 22 and or add one thing to it knowingly the same will be taken out of the book of life for us therefore it is my convictions no disregarding to people who wants to be sprinkled poured or immersed in Father, Son, Holy Ghost that's deliberately up to you my dear brother, sister I would not disagree with you I, this, you're, you're God's servant but to me, I must be faithful and true to the Bible. Amen. Therefore, Paul commanded people that had been baptized some other way besides the name of Jesus Christ and constrained them to come and be rebaptized again in the name of Jesus Christ to preach that same gospel. I've got to do the same thing. To restrain and to persuade people. Don't never leave your church Stay with your pastor. Do everything you can in your own local church. But follow the Bible instructions. Therefore, we believe this morning that Jesus is coming. And when I stand that day, now, maybe the creed book might be all right. I can't disregard it. It might be all right. But, and maybe the Catholic Church does have that authority. I don't know. And if you're Catholic here, and you think your church has that authority, this, they say, is their original book. So why take what some modern man said when Christ, the founder of your church, commissioned this? When your first pope commissioned this? Let's follow the Bible. For I believe that is the truth. Now, while we are preparing, I want those who are to be baptized to come forward and stand up here so we can... Show to the world that we believe that Jesus, living, He loved us. Dying, He saved us. Buried, He carried our sins far away. Rising, He justified freely forever. Believe someday He's coming, waiting for that glorious day. And you're coming this morning to confess that that sin that I preached about this morning, the sins of the world has been condemned and killed and you no more are a servant to that thing. But it's dead. And you're coming to be buried in the name of Him who died for you and killed sin for you and rose for your justification. And you are complete in Him. Not in no church. Not in the Branham Tabernacle. Not in association. But you are complete and safe in Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, this sometimes seems to be hard. For I know that I have precious friends here of the Catholic faith and some of the Wesleyan Methodists and no doubt many of the Trinitarian extreme. We believe, Lord, that Father, Son, and Holy Ghost is the same God, but three offices that the God of heaven served in one time for the Jews in the fatherhood once in flesh as a sonship and now in the Holy Ghost in the church not three gods we do not believe Father 
For you cannot deny your own word when there's no other God except you. You said, I am the Lord thy God, thou shalt have no other gods. And we believe, Lord, that this one true God lived in three different dispensations. Under the law, under the Christian dispensation, when Christ is on earth in a body of flesh that was born of the Virgin Mary, died, rose again, and has redeemed us, the church, and now in the form of the Holy Ghost, the witness of the resurrection lives in our lives. Forgive us of our sins. And I pray that you'll bless every person here, regardless of church affiliations or denomination. They are human beings that live and eat and love and want to go to heaven. They're like us all. And we, we, are, we are not trying to dishonor anything or any work that anybody has done in your name. But we're only trying to give a statement of the hope that lies within us based upon Thy Word. Thy Word is truth. So we pray, Father, that if there be some here that You would desire to have them rebaptized, let them come forward. And those who have never made a Christian confession that's coming now to be baptized in the name of their risen Lord, what a beautiful time to do it on the Easter morning. What makes baptism? Because there was an Easter. Grant, Lord, that whosoever shall come may be blessed and filled with the Holy Spirit Amen. as they are desiring so. For we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Now, those that have come for baptism, would you just stand to your feet so we could get a general conception of who is to be baptized. Amen. There will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Eighteen of them. All right. I got yours back there, sister, in the back. <clears throat> now, I wish you all would, if you would walk right forward here just a moment, would you? Would you play for us, sister? I can hear my Savior calling quietly as you can slowly <clears throat> and as I see coming down the line knowing the peoples I see people from out of town from churches that uh, uh, would really think that I was just a little bit off of line by uh, baptizing the people would you move right out this way a little bit brother so these back here <laughs> Uh, by baptizing them in the name of the Lord Jesus. But I have truly tried to make it as clear as I know how to make it. Mm-hmm. Now, this is a nice group of people. I want y'all to turn right around to the audience like this. All right. These people standing here are coming upon the basis that they believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, that He was suffered under Pontius Pilate and was crucified on Calvary, died, buried, rose the third day, triumph over death, hell, and the grave, and ascended up on high, sitting at the right hand of the Majesty to make intercessions upon their confession. They have now show to you that they believe this solemnly with all their heart and have confessed their sins before God and are convinced that Jesus is the Son of God and has accepted Him as personal Savior. If that be so, raise your hands. All of you stand around like that. Let's raise. Therefore, some of them has been Christians for a long time. Some of those have been baptized in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. And they are convinced today that that the Scripture and apostolic way of baptism is in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And they have come believing this and have accepted it and embracing this. And will think that that's the truth because the Scripture teaches it. If such is standing in the line, would you raise your hands? 
You who have been baptized before, and will, in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Ghost, and now believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you. O Lord, Creator of heavens and earth, Author of everlasting life, here stands men, women, boys, and girls that I'm to lead here to this Easter tomb. Oh, God, someday, maybe this day yet, I've got to stand with them at the judgment bar. And when the great boss comes forward in his great kingly garments, as a minister of the gospel, I've got to stand before this open Bible and give an account for what I've taught the people. I dread, Lord, in fear, godly fear, unless I should teach something that was wrong and then all that I've done would be thrown away. Or you said, till heavens and earth pass away, not one word of mine shall pass away. And you have said, let all man's word be wrong and yours be right. Therefore, Lord, I am as the servant of yours in days gone by, constraining them to come and be rebaptized again. That I might say that at that day that I have done all that I know how to do, in the face of criticisms and what more, but tried to live true to this Bible. Grant, Lord, that their life will be enriched and blessed, and may they want for nothing. May the Holy Ghost come upon each of them that has not received Him as yet. May this be a resurrecting time that this group of people will be resurrected and this church will be charged with the power of the resurrected Amen. Jesus. May we go from this building today saying, did not our hearts burn within us as He talked to us along the road. Granted, Father, as Your servant with these material things, uh, we go forward now to obey Your commandments. In the name of Jesus Christ, Your Son, Amen. amen. Now the women, I believe, go to this room. Is that right? Right. Over here where there will be preparation. The women of the church will take their places here with these women to my right-hand side. The man will go to this side, which is the left side. And um, Doc, if you will, get the great lights over the baptistry. Everybody will be able to see the baptismal service. And Brother Neville will lead the songs for me, if you will, and we'll... Wait for that to unplug there. And set that up close, Brother Taylor. That she went to, down below pardon to a woman that wasn't nothing but a shadow of a woman with cancer and played the tape to her of one of the meetings and the woman is totally delivered Amen. out in the yard raking leaves the doctors can find nothing of her cancer Amen. a few days ago a woman sat here where I asked and said in a little congregation we didn't get a chance to give out prayer cards so I will just simply ask how many here it's never been in my meetings before many raise their hands the great Holy Spirit swept over the place and began to discern the people's thoughts and what they should do Amen. There was a little baby sitting there from somewhere in Georgia with a skin disease since it was born. Two days later, someone called up, or a few days later, and said the skin disease was disappearing from the baby. Amen. A lady sitting here going to surgery, the big malignancy in her side. There's going to be operated on the following Tuesday. That was on Sunday. She came with the alcoholic, used to be, Rosella Griffin. And when this woman came... And the Holy Spirit began to tell her who she was and where she come from and said, you might thought that Rosella told us that. Then the Holy Spirit went and brought her child out of the audience and told about the child and said, thus saith the Lord, that growth is gone. And Tuesday morning when she went in for her examination or for her operation, while all the specialists, four of them I believe, got together they started to feel for the lump and it wasn't there. Amen. They put her under x-rays and called in other doctors and put her clothes back on her and sent her home. There's nothing in it at all. Amen. 
God's still God. Amen. Don't Amen. lose faith. Just keep believing. Amen. Amen. We're to be about, about between 10 or 15 days at the Angelus Temple, beginning of the third. Then we go from there one night with the Spanish people in an auditorium, Los Angeles, the 16th. 17th, 18th, and 19th, we're at the naval bases at San Diego. And then we go from there to San Jose. That's 30 miles out from Oakland because we couldn't get the arena we had last year. We we're having ice skating there. And we got the fairgrounds, which will seat around, I guess, maybe 20,000 people. And they got 61 full gospel churches signed up for the meeting. And so we're expecting a great time there for about two weeks. The Lord bless you and pray for me now. I just want to uh, make this a little announcement that uh, some of our brethren are going to take out the petition in that room back there for tonight. Will it be possible to seat 100 more people? Out? whatever things thou hast commissioned upon the dedication of this my brother and his confession Jesus and his full heart
your mother will sing with you then. Oh, yeah. Oh, we wish you could. Yeah. That's right. Or you could be the nurse that would come in that day when I come in or one of the daughters and stuff for a year. Well, I might have been. But I want to pray for that night. Oh, I've been looking for that. Yeah. Well, you're first Christmas. Fine. Mrs. Kennard. Uh, uh, you've been bad enough before. Yeah, I've been. Thank you. I've looked this way. Yeah. All right. Good. You're a special sister. Is your mother out there? She's in there. Oh, she's in there. Yeah. 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 This is Mrs. Kennard. And to the church folks here, this is Sister Opal Weaver's daughter. And all of you know Opal Weaver, that what taken place in her life, she was merely a skeleton with cancer. The doctors would give her up. And Mrs. Uh, Weber next door, which is a relative of hers, one day when I come in from the West for a meeting, asked me to go down there and see Miss Weaver. Mrs. Weaver said, Brother Brown, I'm not worthy that a servant of Christ come in my house because I'm a sinner. And she didn't talk too much about divine healing, but she talked about her sin. She didn't want to meet God a sinner. And there she would give her life to God and was come to this pool so really and rocky with little bitty limbs and arms until she would look like a skeleton walking in this water to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. She's standing there weeping now as she watched her daughter going for the same baptism that she was. Are you, you're standing there, aren't you, Mrs. Weaver? Yes. Will you step out just so they can see what she looks like now? Many years ago, a skeleton of about 40 pounds. This is her daughter going down in the same pool in the name of Jesus Christ. Wow, God wow, bless wow. you, Sister Kennard. You just put your arm right around, just like this, Sister Kennard. Fold them right around mine. That's it. Now, that's all right. Just look right at this. Now, let us bow our heads. Oh, Lord God, creator of heavens and earth, author of everlasting life and giver of every good gift. As this woman has come this morning, realizing that you've raised up her mother from the shadows of death, as she obeyed you in water baptism, as she promised on her deathbed she would do, she comes this morning knowing that she's just been sprinkled and was not satisfied that that was apostolic baptism. She comes now to fulfill the desire of her heart and the command of God. Therefore, Father, I pray that you'll fill her with the Holy Spirit and let her live a long life happy and be a service for you. And upon your confession of your faith and your consecration to our Lord, I baptize thee, my beloved sister, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Velvet, Marion, from near Battle Creek, Michigan, who comes to be rebaptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. 
The people, the reason we were just a little hesitant then, even though the warmer has been in this water for some time, the bottom of the pool is still icy cold. And that's why we're letting them just come, getting used to the water. And I'm asking them just bring them, just so they be constantly coming in one all the time. So now, if you just put your arms out around mine, sister, just like this, cross your hands. Like this. All right. Now, let us pray. Most righteous Heavenly Father, author of everlasting life, giver of every good gift, send thy blessings upon this woman who comes all the way from Michigan to follow your son in baptism this morning in this icy pool. O oh Lord, hear the prayers of your servant. And I pray that you'll fill her life with your power, good things of heaven. And as I have baptized her with water, fill her with the Holy Ghost and Amen. power for your service. Grant it, eternal God. And thou hast commissioned us to go into all the world and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them into the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe whatever thou hast commanded. Therefore, upon the confession of your sin and your faith in the Son of God, I baptize thee, my beloved sister, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Fine young man, Joseph Blade. This little boy has played instruments before as much as 150,000 people. He's coming to be a little preacher. And he's come to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, not by the persuading of his father and his mother, but off on his own conviction he comes. Amen. He's got to play this afternoon, up here somewhere in Indiana, but wanted to wait over until this taking place because he's convinced that this is right. It's written in the scriptures, a little child shall lead them. Let us bow our heads. Take hold of the Let us pray. Lord God, it is written, suffer little children to come to me. Here's a little Joseph. When I think of that name, I think of my own little boy. I pray that you bless little Joseph. Fill his life with the Holy Ghost, Lord. Make him, give him his heart's desire. Let him be a preacher of the gospel. Give him success in all that he does. And upon your commission, Lord, as you commission us to go into all the world and make disciples, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Ghost, and teaching them to observe whatever you have commanded. And upon the confession of this little boy's sins and his faith in the Son of God, I baptize thee, my little brother Joseph, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. <laughs> oh, Sister Downey, you're just coming in the water. These people are from Tennessee. This is Sister Myers uh, coming from Memphis, Tennessee to meet her Lord in baptism this morning. I suppose you've been baptized once in, as a child. And you're coming out of the evangelist in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. If you just hold my arms, Sister Mary, I believe you may be turned both hands over. I believe the lady of all will test it. That's better. Let us bow our heads. O oh Lord God, who raised up Jesus from the dead, and has given us the witness by the Holy Ghost, we stand here in this icy tomb this morning, knowing this, that as sure as Jesus came from the grave, so shall we rise in that day. Someday if Jesus tarries, we'll go to a, a muddy grave. Dirt will be thrown in on us. But there's no grave can hold us. <laughs> Jesus gave the promise, He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. This young woman comes today with a full consecrated heart. Believing that you'll do this for her. 
Therefore, Lord God, creator of heavens and earth and author of everlasting life, send thy blessings upon her as I fulfill the commission that you gave us to do. Upon the confession of your faith in the Son of God, I baptize thee, my beloved sister, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you, sister. Sit you down. This is Sister Downey, also from Memphis, Tennessee. God has been good to this family. How he has has been to her mother who's had a long sick spell. This is one of my wife's best friends. And she comes today not because of persuasion. She comes because of conviction that she wants to be rebaptized Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless this woman. I want to say this. I'd rather give a person a little bug now than a whole reef after they're gone. I've watched this woman for many years since I've come into the ministry. And this woman, knowing her background of what she has been and what she's done, she's had a heart full of trouble, but she's been one of the examples of Christianity. I'm glad I can say that this morning. And she's outstanding to me as a consecrated Christian. I'm so glad I can say that for her before I baptize her in the name of her Lord. Almighty God, creator of heavens and earth and author of ever good gift and the author of everlasting life, thou hast commissioned us to go into all the world and make disciples of all nations. This, Lord, we have done reverently. And I pray that you receive this woman upon the conviction of her heart as it has once been in the name of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Not because that I have said it, because that she's convinced that it's your apostolic and your original initial way for baptism as the first church baptized. She comes like, like Paul said of old. God, I, I pray that you will receive her. And I know you will. And make her life happy now. Give her the desire of her heart. And upon the confession of faith in Jesus Christ, and upon your consecration to him, I baptize thee, my beloved sister, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Praise be to God. This is Henry Blades, a young man who comes to be baptized into the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Are you a brother to the little fellow just baptized? You play music too? Another one of the band that plays the music, Call Far Everywhere. Someone would just tell me a while ago if they play before great audiences everywhere. And he's come upon conviction to be baptized in the name of his risen Lord. Would you walk out here, Brother Blaze? And just put both arms like this, right around my arm. That's it. Let us pray. O oh Lord God, creator of heavens and earth and author of everlasting life and giver of every good gift, send thy blessings upon this young man who I baptize in the name of your Son. Grant it, Lord. Upon the confession of your sin and your faith in the Son of God, I baptize thee, my beloved brother, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. This is little brother Myers. How old are you? Ten. Someone might say, why do you baptize this little boy? Jesus said, suffer little children to come unto me. Forbid them not, for such is the kingdom of God. Suffer them to come. This little boy wants to be baptized. I believe they had to go out and get clothes for him or something to be baptized. He's convinced. Let us pray. Lord God, creator of heavens and earth, Amen. author of everlasting life and giver of every good gift, send thy blessings upon this child that comes to you this morning in this icy tomb. As I baptize him with water, fill him with the Holy Ghost. Upon the confession of his sins and his faith 
in the Son of God, I baptize thee, my little brother, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 This lady here has been a trophy of God's grace. This is Mr. Mrs. Unrin, the mother of the downy girl and the girl that was before her. They just that time. They all come from Memphis, Tennessee. This has been a friend of ours for years and years. And she's from a Trinity church down in Memphis, Tennessee. I would not tell Sister Unger and nobody not to go to the church. Certainly you go to your own church. That's all right. But she's not doing that because she has something against her church. She's doing this because she's convinced by the gospel that this is apostolic baptism. God bless you, Sister Unger. She's been ill, going through a time of life. It's not done her any good. And Sister Weaver, as you're standing here and a witness that... That, and uh, many of you here who knows that when you were rebaptized again in the name of Jesus Christ, some of you out there with cancer and couldn't get well, when you were rebaptized in Jesus' name, the cancer left you. Mrs. Weaver's one of them. And the lady across the street, there's one of them. That, um, it is. And I'm trusting God that this will be the end of your suffering, sister, because you obeyed the commandments of God. Have you just put your arms out around me? I think what you want to let us pray. Lord God, creator of heavens and earth, here stands your servant. And she's been sick for some time, but, oh Lord, she stands here today in this pool to be baptized into the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I've loved these people and have prayed for them constantly that they would see this great light. For I believe, Lord, and it's all my heart. It's the way that you have ordained us to go. I pray that you'll heal Sister Unra now. May every trace of sickness be left in this pool. May she rise in new health. And in the power of the resurrection of Christ. Upon her witness and her confession and her faith in the Word of God, I baptize thee, my beloved sister, In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, amen. Amen. All right, brethren. I think you're a radio technician, Richard. I mean, would you turn the temperature on? Bert Main. Bert Main. Would you turn it on? This is Brother Bert Main, radio man, newsman, news broadcaster from the radio station. That's convinced that the water baptism in the name of Jesus Christ is correct. And he's been baptized before, brother. He's been baptized before in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. But convinced by the reading of the Word that this is what he should do. A man of his caliber and his profession comes straight to the water to want God to bless him and to give him what he has for him in life. May God bless this loyal servant of his. Just walk right here, brother Bert. Put both arms right around mine. Just right here. Let us pray. Amen. Lord God, creator of heavens and earth and author of everlasting life and giver of every good gift, send thy blessings upon this brother. And if he comes here as a witness of your grace, a reader of your word, convinced in his heart that this is the thing to do because it's commission of your holy church. Amen. It's the original. And Lord, we want to follow the commandments of those who walk with you. For it's truly our desire to walk as they walk. Take the path the apostles have trod. Maybe persecution, maybe it's heartaches, maybe it's sorrows. Amen. We don't know what it holds. But Lord, as long as you're leading, we know it'll be right. Bless our brother fill his life with the Holy Ghost and consecrate himself into the service of Christ. Therefore, upon the confession of of your faith and your conviction of this that you're fixing to do now, my beloved brother, I baptize thee in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Your sister, Mrs. Skaggs, are you a daughter to Brother Skaggs here, my friend? 
from the uh, Margaret's case. Did you look? This is Sister Skank. Have you ever been baptized before, Sister Skank? Been baptized before in the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. She comes this morning, this young woman, um, to give her life of consecration to the Lord Jesus, to follow Him in apostolic baptism. The Lord bless you, Sister Skank. You can come up this way just a little closer. Put your arms up any way you want to hold them. Let us bow our heads. Almighty God, creator of heavens and earth and author of everlasting life and giver of every good gift, send thy blessings upon this young handsmaid of yours. I pray that you'll fill her life with the mercies and blessings of God, consecrating her soul to you, Lord, Amen. and fill her with thy spirit in love. Amen. Upon the confession of your faith, my beloved sister, I baptize thee in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Whatever she is, she's convinced. Okay. Right. What is your name now? This is Brother Henry B. Johnson. He come here last Easter to be baptized and didn't have his clothes and he's waited a year to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless this gallant servant of Christ. Walk right here, Brother Johnson. Just put your arms out around mine here in any way that you think you raise yourself up better with. Let us pray. Lord God, creator of heavens and earth and author of everlasting life, giver of every good gift, send thy blessings upon this waiting heart. Oh, when you see him come from this water, may the Holy Spirit have moved on the water the first thing. May it move upon him. Consecrate his life, O oh God, to thee as servant. On the confession of your sins and your faith in Jesus Christ, I baptize thee, my beloved brother, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Oh, Amen. Praise God. Amen. 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 Let's see what Martha is. It? Joanne. This is another little girl from one uh, sister um, Downey's daughter, little Joanne. Down. That's right, sister. How old are you, mother? Fourteen. She's a, a personal friend of my little girl, Rebecca, standing here watching her being baptized. In the name of the Lord Jesus. We're so happy today to see little Joanne upon conviction. These teenage children, when this world is full of sin and corruption, to see them taking their choice for Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless this young girl as you hold her. Let us pray. Almighty God, creator of heavens and earth and author of everlasting life, send thy blessings upon this young woman. As I baptize her with water, I pray that you'll fill her with the Holy Ghost. Grant that her young life will be a, a benediction to you, Lord. Grant it and speak to her and live in her and work to her, Lord. Through the power of God, upon your confession of the Son of God, I baptize thee, my beloved sister, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. What's your name? Sharon Myers. Sharon Myers. Look this way. Sharon Myers, another young woman, comes down consecrating her life to Christ. Have you ever been baptized, Sharon? No, this is her first time to be baptized. May the Lord bless this young woman and fill her life with God's goodness and mercy. Just come back here, Sister Sharon, and just put both arms uh, like this, honey. I'll be on you just way to be Just any way she can hold it. Like that. Right, Sister Sharon. Let's pray. Lord God, creator of heavens and earth, author of everlasting life, and giver of every good gift, send thy mercies upon our sister here. May she live and be an example of of real Christianity in the neighborhood where she comes from. Amen. Grandfather, and as thou hast commissioned us to go into all the world and teach all nations, baptizing them into the name of Father, Son, Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe whatever thou hast commanded us. Grant it, Lord, that this young girl will receive the blessings that you promised upon the confession of your faith and, and upon your consecration to the Son of God. I baptize thee, my beloved sister, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. All right, your name is Sumner. Look this way. Brother Sumner, where are you from, Brother Sumner? Georgia. 
from down in Georgia. He comes this morning. You ever been baptized before, Brother Summers? He's been baptized before, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Convinced that this is true. He comes this morning all the way from Georgia to be baptized again in the name of Jesus Christ on this Easter morning, confessing his faith in the Son of God. Move we'll move right this way, Brother Summer. And put your finger on Let us pray. Lord God, as I baptize him with water, I pray that you'll fill him with the Holy Ghost and fire. This young man, a consecrated life, Lord, send him out into the mission field somewhere to do your work. And upon the confession of his faith in the Son of God, I baptize thee, my beloved brother, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. God bless you, my gallant brother. Amen. Your sister. Is that your husband? Oh, how nice. I trust him. God will oh, bless you. This is Sister Summer, you understand. As her husband just baptized just a few moments ago. We're letting the people stand a few minutes so they can get used to the water. All right, Sister Summer, if you just put your arms around. I believe you just swap this like this, Sister Summer, be there. Let us pray. Lord God, as Sister Summer comes now to, to follow in baptism, our Lord and Savior, coming next after her husband. How appropriate. I didn't know that, but to wait till that time. That must be your ordained will, Lord, and your way of doing things. Yes. That she can follow her husband also, for he is uh, the example for her. And I pray that you'll bless her and consecrate her life. And may they live long, happy lives together, raising their little ones and serving you. As she comes down to be baptized, I pray that you'll give her the desire of her heart. Upon the confession of your faith in the Son of God, I baptize thee, my beloved sister, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. First time you've been Amen. This is one of my very dear bosom friend's wife, Brother Fred Softman from Houston, Saskatchewan, Canada. Sister Softman. She's a very dear person. Consecrated woman. A real mother. A real wife and sweetheart to my friend Fred. I pray that God bless Sister Softman and give her every kingdom gift that she's desired. Put your arm like this. I believe this would be best. Sister Softman, take it right like this. And this one underneath like this. Let us pray, O oh Lord God, creator of heavens and earth. I'm just as positive that you're standing somewhere on this place here this morning looking at this. For no man can do anything in your name without you knowing about it. You see this woman's faith and her consecration. I pray that you'll bless her and Brother Fred together. May they live long, happy lives serving you, granite Lord. And as she's come now with a full surrendered heart and consecration to be baptized according to the way that the apostles were baptized and the way they did baptize. Therefore, upon her confession of her faith in the Son of God, I baptize thee, my beloved sister, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. What is your name? Doris Hudgens. Sister Doris Hudgens, where are you New Albany. She comes this morning to be baptized into the name of her Savior. May the Lord God of heaven bless her and make her a blessing in New Albany, from which she shall return. Put, put this arm under like this in the back side. All right. Keep the little fellow right there just a minute. Hold it. <laughs> that's pretty cold for a little girl. Is that your little sister? I know that's mighty fine. Just a moment, we'll take care of it. Let us pray, will you? Almighty God, creator of heavens and earth and author of everlasting life and giver of all good spiritual and physical gifts, give to this woman good health, strength, happiness, and all the spiritual blessings that you have in store for her. Thou art not willing that she should lack in anything. And I pray that you'll grant it, Lord, to her as she's consecrating herself and following thee to this icy tomb this morning. God grant it. And upon the confession of your faith 
I baptize thee, my beloved sister, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. 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 Are you the, 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 the people just stand down? Little Mary Alice Blaine. How old are you, honey? Eleven years old. May the Lord bless this little child. Give to her the sincerity and desire, the sincere desire of her heart. It's my prayer. You walk up here to Mary Ellen. Mary Alice. All right, sir. Let us pray. Lord God, creator of heavens and earth and author of everlasting life and giver of ever good gifts, send thy blessings upon this child here at the turning point of life. May we she continue on this road that leads to life. Granted, as she's come this morning confessing her sins and confessing that she has faith in Jesus Christ who died to save her from Amen. those sins, she goes to this icy pool to be baptized in the name of her Savior. Grant, Lord, that the Holy Spirit will be moving on the water once she comes up from here and move on her heart and never leave her from now to all eternity. Grant it, Lord, on the confession of your sins and your faith in the Son of God, I baptize thee, my beloved sister, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Is that is any more coming to be baptized? Are you to be baptized, sister? You coming, honey, to be baptized? The other little girl coming to you? Or let that be getting a little bit used to it. Just a little. Let the little girl just walk on this little about one step at a time when she comes in. And just stand right along there. What's your name, sister? Dorothy. Dorothy who? Darling. Darlene, where are you from, Darlene? Down in Kentucky. This is little Darlene Wilcoxon from Kentucky. She comes this morning in confession of faith in the Son of God to be baptized into the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. May God bless it. I love to see these teenage children come. Because if there is a tomorrow, this will be the workers of tomorrow. And right a lovely little lady, right at the age where Satan could snap her little life and make her a, a disgrace. She's tucked the right road. Stay on it, darling. So Jesus sets you free. Just put one hand like this, and I'll be darling like this, honey, and then one right over like that. That's fine. Let us pray. Merciful God who created the heavens and earth and gave all things freely through Jesus Amen. Christ. We thank thee this morning for the privilege we have of leading these children to thee. Oh, gracious God, fill this little life and may the devil not touch her. May she be your servant all the days of her life. Grant it, Lord. As she started this morning, standing in this icy tomb, going down here believing that Jesus Christ died for her sins, and she's making a public confession of it now. Write her name not only on this baptismal sheet, but may it be in the book of life. May she come forth in that day, shining as gold. Granted, upon the confession of your sins and your faith in God's Son, I baptize thee, my beloved sister, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. All right, what's your name? Emily Play. What a sweet little girl this is. Little Emily Play. What a baby. Lady. Oh, your uh, one of the, uh, uh, your sister's just bad time. She's a little darling. Uh, someone said to me one time, said, Brother Branham, why do you baptize children? Jesus said, Suffer little children to come to me. That is, suffer. Let them come. Say, well, she doesn't know what she's doing. She'd know she done wrong, wouldn't she? You think that child wouldn't know when she done wrong? If she's old enough to know when she's done wrong, she's old enough to know when she's yeah, done right. right. What if something happened to her and I'd forbid her, then that blood would be on my hands at the day of judgment. Yes, sir, no matter what age they are. When, you, when they want to come, you let them come. Yeah, right. Right. You love Jesus? You go to serve him? You know what this pool is this morning? That's where he died. was buried down this real cold grave. But he rose up again. God brought him up. Someday, honey, you'll come forth too. You love Jesus and serve Him all the days of your life. 
Now let us pray. Lord, it is written, Suffer little children to come to me Amen. and forbid them not for such is the kingdom of heaven. I pray that you'll bless this little child. As I baptize her with water, you baptize her with the Spirit, Lord. She's come. She's believing. She's come up on her own will. And I'm baptizing her according to thy word. On the confession of her sins and her faith in the Son of God, I baptize thee, my beloved sister, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Bless you, Lord. How are you getting along? How are you getting along, honey? All right? What's your name? Yeah, Robinson. 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 It's the little sister Robinson who comes to be immersed in the name of her Savior, the Lord Jesus. Let us bow our heads now as we pray. Put your arms right here, honey. <laughs> o Lord God, creator of heaven and earth and author of everlasting life and giver of every good gift, send thy blessings upon the little lady. As she comes this morning confessing her sins and believing in the Son of God. Grant, Lord, that she'll be filled with the Holy Ghost. May she take that right road and continue on it until she's free of this life. Grant it, Lord. Give her the blessings of her life. Now, upon the confession of your sins and your faith in the Son of God, I baptize thee, my beloved sister, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 Amen.
Amen. Turn the show for the name of You're dismissed, and may the Lord bless us until the next service time.